Hello and good morning. Today's review will be from Jaybird, released for MS-DOS in 1983. Now this was written by the legendary Greg Cooperberg. He only wrote three games and this is the third one that he wrote. Uh, I'm told it runs really well. I have never played Jaybird before. Uh, I've been fiddling a little bit with DOSBox settings to, to get a nicer screen. But anyways, Jaybird is available from myabandonware.com. So I have configuration files now for both DOSBox and DOSBox X. So I still prefer DOSBox over DOSBox X a little bit only because DOSBox X has 1270 files, uh, lines of configuration, whereas DOSBox uh, only goes down to 850. Um, this is the bit I've been playing with most. Uh, the GL shader now uses a CRT simulation, still flat, and then when the system is in CGA mode, as this one will be, it simulates a particular IBM monitor for the best colors you can get. So enough about the configuration files. Let's give Jaybird a chance. Yeah, so uh, Greg likes to start his game off with a little bit of music. And now you can select following. At the moment, novice is selected. B is intermediate, but I'm definitely a novice. You can go for one player or two player. And then G for other options. And then G, show high scores or instructions, joystick adjustment. Um, Let's go for instructions. Like I said, I've never played this game before. So welcome to the world of Jaybird. As Jaybird, you hop around on a three-dimensional pyramid. Your goal is to change the colors of the pyramid by hopping on individual cubes. You must change the entire pyramid to the target color shown at the left of the side of the screen during play before you can advance to the next round. But be careful, many hazards await you on the pyramid. You will fall to your death if you jump off the pyramid. You must not touch the blue or red magic lobes, the indecisive black cats or King Bo the snake who follows you closely. To escape from King Bo, you can jump onto a pair of wings located at the side of the pyramid. Momentarily safe, you will fly to the top of the screen, but King Bo will follow you off the pyramid and you will have lured him to his death. Press any key. Jaybird moves diagonally in four different directions, upward and to the left, upward and to the right. Yeah. Uh, if you have a joystick connected to the computer, you can press the joystick button for joystick play and then move Jaybird with a joystick. Um, for keyboard play, yes, okay. So I'm gonna use the numeric keypad because my laptop actually has a proper numeric keypad. And that looks doable. Okay, so we have Jaybird and a time sphere that freezes the board. Two toads, hob and knob, 300 each. Dangerous to touch, king bow. The magic lobe, red in this case, and a black cat. And I guess it's time to go for it. Space for keyboard play. <laughs> okay, um, interesting. Ha 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 ha, okay. 
Now, I was told that this is a, a clone of Q-Bird, which is another game I've never played. There's a little bit of a lag here. But yeah, okay. So literally you just have to visit all of the squares. And have to get some efficiency while doing that. Ha <laughs> ha oh, okay. ha. Okay. So that was my first ever play of that game. However, I am going to try again. Spaceball. Plays really well, I have to say. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. So there's enough of those red ones following you around. Oh, oh, hey, hey! Turned into a snake. Okay, let's try these wings. <laughs> Fantastic, okay, that's a bit of fun. Uh, and my fingers still miss the keyboard, the, the layout is a little bit funky. And uh, yeah, that's, that's not too bad, I mean, uh, it's playable. Take me back to the top. <laughs> okay, so you only get the wings once. Yeah, layout's a little bit weird, but uh, let's try a different strategy here. Yeah? game thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you around later if you like the new screen format you know the the new shaders that I'm using um, please mention that in the comments oh and we have a demo mode <laughs> that's really nice okay guys uh, until next time uh, have a great day